All right, temperatures right now about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where they were this time yesterday. Still in the upper 40s here in San Antonio. A few low 50s, especially south of the Highway 90 corridor. Again, I don't anticipate temperatures climbing a whole lot higher than where they are right now, just because of the cloud cover in place. The exception may be being closer to the Rio Grande, where a few peaks of sunshine are possible this afternoon. So chilly out there today, but if you like the warmer weather, you will enjoy that returning tomorrow all the way into the weekend. We'll monitor for some patchy morning fog Saturday into Sunday and then isolated rain chances into next week. What a pretty weekend we're setting up for. I'm excited about today's show because when you got five kids, that trampoline place, that's a good place to go. Mm -hmm. And just let them run wild. Just go, go, go. All five of you grandkids, take off. Have fun. It is a good place. I used to yeah. dump my kids there. That's, yeah. yeah just and go. I would just sit in the corner with earphones and but read my book. They always want me to get out there. It's like, no, I don't want to get hurt. You know who's out there is is Fiona, yeah. Yeah. and she knows how to do a flip or two, so this oh. is going to be fun. She's like a professional gymnast. Here's the other professional, Jen. Take it away. SA Live starts right now. We leap into adventure for Leap Day, where your kids can jump into an indoor trampoline park that's filled with fun activities. And a local catering company is supporting our black community. We feature a black-owned business cooking for a San Antonio spur. Check out this cuisine and culture. Miss Czechoslovak U.S. brings us the traditions, pageantry, and of course, kolaches as they're known for. Right here on SA Live. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Happy Leap Day. So how much do you know about Leap Year? We found some fun facts about the holiday, like did you know it used to be Leap Month on lunar calendars? I did not know that. And there's a town in Texas known as the Leap Year capital of the world. It's the town of Anthony near El Paso on the Texas-Mexico border. And if you want to know more, KSAT Explains has a whole series. You can go online to look at that. I'm Jen Tobias Strusky and Fiona is joining me from afar. Hello, Fiona. Hey there! Yes, so many wacky leap year facts. In fact, Julius Caesar, he's the one who introduced Leap Day with help of the Egyptians. So Caesar created the 365-day, 12-month calendar based on their calendar. Um, and the new calendar worked great for a bit until uh, it, it, people slowly realized that the Earth actually uh, has 365.24 days a year instead of 365. So to correct this, Caesar instituted a leap year once every four years to ensure that the man-made and solar calendars stayed aligned. I didn't know that wow. until right now, okay? And leap day is also a day for women to propose to men. It's called mm -hmm. Bachelor's Day in Ireland. And the last leap day fact I've got is people born on leap day are called leaplings. Leaplings. That's cute. That is cute. Yes, I like that. Yeah, so for our question of the day, we want to know when did you take a big leap in your life? We have that QR code on your screen. Fiona, I'll ask you first. When did you take that leap? Uh, I, I would say when I started this job and this show back in 2014. Yes. That was my fabulous Yes, that's sleep. a good one. Oh, it's kind of loud back and there, I right? And I haven't regretted it since. <laughs> yes, we're so happy to have you, Fiona. Yes, let us know yours. Mine was moving to Colorado, okay? Yes, I moved to Colorado with my fiance then at the time in 2012, and I had never left Texas. So that was a... Uh, that was pretty hard for me, but but we had a great That's time a there. Yes, yes. So just scan that QR code there on your screen, and we'll share more answers. We'll see you, Fiona. And actually, you're taking over right now. So I'll send it over to you. Have some fun. That's right. That's right. We are leaping into a good time here at Ground Control Trampoline Park. And joining me right now is Leah Grady, General Manager and Ground Control Trampoline Park. For those that don't know, what is it about? So we're a park that has a space theme to it, mm -hmm. and we have several different attractions that are harder to find in trampoline parks. And one of our main things is that our trampolines are actually in ground. A lot of times when you go to a trampoline yeah. park, they're gonna be on a platform. So when we built ground control from the ground up, we ended up having everything from the ground up literally without putting anything on a platform. And I would think that that makes it easier to enjoy the fun, right? It you can totally just literally does. leap right into it. Oh, okay? absolutely. So where are we right now? Right now, this area 
is called my open jump area. Uh -huh. It's got two different ramps on it that create really fun ways for people to be able to do flips off of. Uh -huh. And we've got the long pieces of mm -hmm. trampolines throughout as well that people do a lot of their gymnastic style things such as flips, cartwheels, all kinds of fun things. And you can even incorporate sports as well. We've Absolutely. got a, what is that called there? The we trampoline do have basketball our, <laughs> <laughs> We just call it basketball, but we do have a high basketball and a low basketball area. And so that gives you two different difficulties. As you can see, it's easy to do some um, wonderful, um, yeah, sorry. no. That, Dunks, that, sorry. I mean, basketball to me is already hard. I can't even imagine oh, trying I to do it on a trampoline, okay? And there is even this, right? We are going to yes. joust. My jousting foam pit. Um, so this is really popular. It tests all of your balance. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it tests all of your balance. And it's definitely fun to get a little more competitive with. Oh, my goodness. And this is, of course, over a foam pit. <laughs> yes, sweetheart, I, I'm on I, television right now. What is it? You did that? That's oh. great. Okay, we're gonna try. <laughs> okay, it's our turn. Our turn to try. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sloan, you distracted me! <laughs> I feel like that wasn't there. You're gonna show me? Okay, show me. Show us. Show me real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, my five year old daughter, Sloan. <laughs> okay. There she goes, very good. And who's this? This is Randy, this is my son. He's um, here quite often with me, so he's pretty uh, He's inept pretty agile. Apart. Okay, so I have to say that this is a much more comfortable place to do the interview, all right? And you guys have areas for five and under? Do you, do you like, um, where, where does five times, and under go? A lot of times the five and under, like our foam pit, uh -huh. they'll take our foam out, build a few things. It's very entertaining and they'll build like little uh, castles and stuff but the foam is a safety measure, mm -hmm. so we try to make sure that it stays in here as much as possible. So a lot of times the kids just end up playing in the foam. And on weekend nights, what happens? Friday night and Saturday night, all of our lights turn out and we actually turn on all of our glow lights. So they're UV lights that shine and light up our entire park. Okay, and coming up, I'm going to try out um, one of the, uh, what would you call it? A trick in the super trampoline area? So it's called a wall run. Wall run, on thank our you. super trampoline. Uh -huh. um, it is a trick and those trampolines actually have a very specific type of spring in them that creates that high bounce so that you can actually do that stuff. All right, so that's gonna be coming up. What could possibly go wrong and we'll tell you all about the fabulous parties you can host here and how much it costs to come and enjoy for a bit. Mama, all right, Mama. back to you. Yeah, oh Sloan, you're doing great. <laughs> Wow. Okay, Look that looks so fun. Hi, Sloan. Oh, yes, she's doing a great job. You guys are having fun out there. For more information, look at her. Yes, Ground Control Trampoline Park San Antonio. You can head to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab or just scan that QR code that's on your screen. All right, after all that playing around, we need something to fill us up, right? It's time to eat. Joining me on set today is Norminia Lewis, owner and operator of Gnome's Catering and Event Planning Services. Everything smells so good. Welcome. Okay, welcome, Hi. Jen. Yes, we also have Annalie Esquivel joining us as well. We're gonna talk events a little bit later, but first let's talk about what you have brought today for us. Today I have my Black Girl Magic Chinese bar. Um, Chinese is one of my favorite, Asian is one of my favorite cuisines also. So, you know, Chinese is whatever you make it. Yes, okay, so we'll start right here and work our way down. What is this one here? <laughs> so this is Egg Foo Young. This is my childhood favorite um, with a, a beef gravy. And then I have a peppered steak um, combo. That's pretty good also. I have fried rices, which is pretty common, which you can make that into anything you want to make it into. And also I have my chop suey. Wait. Chop suey, mm. oh, oh, what's in it? Go ahead, sorry. Oh, what's in it? It's um, uh, bok choy uh -huh. and some mushrooms. Ooh, looks so good. Okay, and today we are making, because this is pretty pretty simple recipe you have here, yes, right? Yes, it is. So what you can do is you can take half the rice. Okay. You said half of it? I will use half of it. Okay. A hot pan, I put a little sesame seed oil. Mm -hmm. And then you can put the vegetables. I just stick with peas and carrots and onions, which is very common, mm -hmm. and then some egg. And then you can season it with a little seasoning. Mm -hmm. And then you can just, soy. some soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Always have to have the soy you sauce. You can put oyster sauce too, it's just oh. however you want. But okay. this is just keep it simple for mm -hmm. the audience today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And you can go ahead and start. Okay. There you go, girl. Mix it up. 
You said, obviously, you want to get it to look okay. like that. But let's talk more about what you do, your catering services. Um, I have a catering services here located in San Antonio. I serve about probably close to 100 to 400 people. Um, I have economical means, and I have even elevated means for everybody. So I try to cover the basis for everybody. OK, and I hear you cook for a Spurs player, uh, uh, right? Which yes. one? I cook for um, Malachi Brenham. He's such a sweet kid, and he is very talented. And so he, what's his favorite food? His favorite food, we do. His favorite food, we try to keep it healthy, you yes, know. Yes, of course. Um, so we do pretty much like a, usually stir fries, stuff like that, a lot of vegetables, yes. high protein meals, gluten free. Got it. Okay, and then we are going to talk events now. On Anna Lee, what events are coming up for you guys? This Saturday, we will be at the She Vision Gospel Conference at 9.30. Mm -hmm. And next Saturday, come down and see us at the SA Cigar Com Festival at 4. And we'll be serving elevated um, samples. Samples too, okay, that's great, a great event. And, and let's talk about how you got started, because you were a baker first, and then <laughs> So I was now. the family baker, uh -huh. and then one day I was working my corporate job, and mm -hmm. we used to argue all the time about, um, you know, who's gonna cook. So mm -hmm. I started cooking for, you know, my coworkers, and it turned into something else. So now I've been doing this for six years. Six years, okay, and so, what is this your passion, would you say? Yeah, my hobby turned into my, yes. you know, my dream job, basically. How cool is that? And then if somebody wants to order or set up a catering, how far in advance do they have to do that with you guys? Oh, um, they can call it any time. Really? I'm open. I'm free. Okay. Yes. All right. And why is it important for you to be active in the community? Um, community matters. We have to take care of each other. We are all, we need to thrive together, not mm -hmm. alone. Okay, and then um, what is uh, the best way to book you if they want to find you and get you? Um, I am on, you can email me, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Instagram. Okay, so your handle real quick. My handle, my I'm known catering. There you go. And then my number is 210-570-2035. What is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to make? <laughs> what? Sorry. what? Asian, yeah, yeah. Asian and Cajun. Those Asian are my two of my favorites. Perfect, all right. This smells good. We'll give this a try here in a minute. For more information on Gnomes Catering, head to SALive. Dot com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that code right there on your screen. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. SA Live continues with the Taste of Black Restaurant Week. It's a must try combo of Caribbean and soul food. And check out these kolaches. Tomorrow is National Kolache Day, and we have Miss Czech Slovakia West here to tell us all about the traditions, the history, and of course the food and culture too. Stay with us. Kalachi Day and we check out Authentic Today Kalachi recipes and of course we're learning also the heritage behind it. Destiny Hollingsworth, Miss Czechoslovakia US is joining us now and you brought some Kalachis. I did. As well, you look beautiful. First off, how did you become Miss Czechoslovakia US? Thank you so much. So I won my title this past August at the Miss Czechoslovakia US pageant in Wilbur, Nebraska. So I began as the Bear County Czechoslovak Queen and went on to represent as the first San Antonio Queen in the Texas pageant. I won my Miss Texas Czech Slovak Queen title and then represented our state in the national pageant. Wow. This pageant has been going on for 38 years now. So this last August we had eight other state representatives from all over the United States. It has four different categories. We have a private interview with the judges, mm -hmm. a on-stage interview, and then we'll do a talent and a croy modeling where you will model your croy, which mm -hmm. is the national Czech and Slovak dress. And I'm actually currently wearing an Americanized version of this it's authentic. Beautiful. And Thank what you. was your talent? I did a singing piece to a modern Slovak song, mm -hmm. and I played the violin and actually did an Irish jig in between to honor my father's Irish heritage. Oh, that is so <laughs> sweet. I bet they're so proud. They, I, I love them. <laughs> I hope they love me. I know they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do, yes. yes. And, and I bet they're super proud to see you there. Now, let's talk about what you brought today yes. and what this all represents with the culture. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so today I have here a few different authentic Slovakian items. This is some Slovak
black pottery that we bought on a trip there. You'll see an egg in here. This is known as the art of Kraslice. We do this during Easter time on eggs. Here we have the Slovak flag and the Czech flag, and we have some Slovak dolls that my dear mother grew up with, and they are wearing authentic Slovak kroje. Mm -hmm. And I also brought some kolaches to try today. So an interesting distinction is that when we envision kolaches as Texans, we think of the pig in a blanket that you see when you go into a donut shop. But the truth is that those are called klobasniki. Oh. And yes, so the kolaches that we talk about, those are going to be the sweet versions. Got it. And those are these here. They're filled with different sweet fillings like cream cheese and jam and poppy seed. And how can Czechs and Slovaks celebrate their culture on National Kolachi Day? So one of the ways is to enjoy kolaches. We're very excited to have a day that nationally celebrates our pastry. And so you can go and buy some. Um, we have a company here called the Beer Kolachi Company. Mm -hmm. And you can um, even find a recipe and try to make some of your own. It's a fun process and you'll get to enjoy a delicious treat in celebration. And how can somebody be part of the, uh, what was it that, the program that you're part of here? So here is the Bear County chapter of the Czech Heritage Society mm -hmm. of Texas. So you can get involved, you can join our organization. We also have our pageantry here in Texas, and that is for ladies aged 16 to 26 for the Queen pageant. And we actually also have a junior pageant um, going on for ages 6 to 15. Okay. Yes, so we actually have an upcoming festival for our Bear County chapter and this is our spring festival. It's going to be on April 21st. So if you're interested in Czech and Slovak fun, come check it out. Okay, and do they do that every year, the spring festival? So, what can we expect at the festival? So we can expect a lot of Czech and Slovak entertainment. We're going to have people singing where there's going to be polka dancing. Mm -hmm. We're going to have presentations. There's going to be delicious Czech and Slovak food mm -hmm. and, of course, our wonderful community. Um, this spring festival is sort of a newer thing that we're implementing, and we're hoping to make it more annual and expand it. But we do also have an annual fall festival festival oh, okay. and a Christmas party. Okay, so spring, fall, and, and Christmas, Christmas, right? Christmas. Okay, and what is next for you? Do you have to hand the crown over now? Yes, so mm -hmm. this coming August I will be relinquishing my crown to the mm -hmm. next wonderful competitor mm -hmm. who will win the title and then I will go on to continue being involved in my wonderful community. And so. what was your favorite part about being in the pageant? My favorite part was just getting to connect with all the other competitors. It's a huge sense of community, even during the competition. And so it's just a really wonderful experience. You learn a lot from public speaking to working under pressure to being able to talk to people and make wonderful connections. It's a great experience. Yes, and you did great today on live television as well. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so, so much. much. We'll dig into these soon. For more information, you can head to essaylive.com. Click the As Seen on Essay Live tab, where we provided a link. You can also scan that QR code right there on your screen. We are leaping into a good time at a local trampoline park and I'm gonna tell you how you can have your own private slumber party here. Yes, the whole night long. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Somebody say Fiona! And we fill up on Caribbean and soul food from a local restaurant being featured during Black Restaurant Week. They're also part of the For Vida program. What that means next on SA Live. Here, and it is the perfect time to feed your soul. And we are at the perfect place to do just that. We are at Mama Love's Soul and Caribbean Food on Austin Highway. So let's dig in. Mm. Me are Terrell King from Mama Loves, Mama Herself, and Takesha Durst from Metro Health. Yes, okay. You guys, you guys know how to throw a party. This is what I'm talking about right here. All this incredible food. So Terrell, when did you get this restaurant started? We got it started um 2020 mm -hmm. during a pandemic. Wow. 2020 during a pandemic. Okay, that had to be an incredible journey since then, right? And it was it was rough, but with the grace of God, He sent the people in. And we, they came. We still up and going. We yes. still up and coming. Still going. Why did you get it started? I got it started because of this young lady. <laughs> Mama love yes. herself. Mama love herself. Okay. I just believe in my mother cooking. Um, since we was kids, she she been whipping up these dishes, and I told her one day that. I'm gonna get her a kitchen. 
and here it is. Here it is. It's come to fruition. Yes. Right? Place Gotta be yes. so proud. Yes. So proud, okay? Nice. So let's talk about some of the dishes that we have in front of us right now. What are a couple of the most popular ones? Okay, so we got the oxtail. The oxtail, that's our number one seller. What is this right here? That is the um, Jamaican beef patties. Oh, wow. So yes, what's it got a, it got a nice packed, um, a nice pack, a nice spice to it. Nice spice to it? Yes, it's Just ground enough. beef. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. yes. All right, and so you are a Poor Vita partner through Metro Health, okay? Yes. What kind of healthy options do you have? We got the cabbage right there. Okay. Me and Miss T is also working on getting the rice and beans. It's no longer coconut. And then we also are working on getting the kids menu. And so, speaking of kids, what was your favorite dish that your mom made when you were growing up? So, my favorite dish is the oxtail. We didn't get to eat much of them right. when we was younger, but when she cooked them up, it ain't Perfect. stand a chance. It yes. didn't stand a chance. Yes, it, it didn't did last long on no, the table. No, we, we ain't, we ain't going to play with you. <laughs> so, so what does it mean to you to be featured in Black Restaurant Week? Man, it's, it's a great feeling. It means a lot to us, man. It's an honor. A lot of people find out about these small restaurants through the Black Restaurant Week. It's a great feeling. It's, it's nothing but great things. Always a great turnout. Can I give a shout out to somebody? Sure. I'm the co-founder of Black Restaurant Week. Her name is Ryan Smith. Smith. I can't say enough about her. Ryan Smith actually introduced me to Miss T. Them two, they do a lot for the community. A lot. So Black Restaurant Week, we, we wish it could be every week. Okay, so Takesha, tell yes. us about the Poor Vita program. Poor Vita is a program with San Antonio Metro Health where we recognize locally owned restaurants for categories such as good nutrition, sustainability, and community development. Okay, and where can folks find a full list of Poor Vita restaurants? You can find a full list of Poor Vita restaurants at PoorVitaSA.com. We also have Poor Vita SA on Instagram and Poor Vita SA on Facebook. On all the socials. You all can the find socials, them there, absolutely. Okay? And Mama Loves is a bronze Poor Vita partner right now, and you are working with them to bring them to a silver or even gold partner status, right? Absolutely. As Terrell mentioned earlier, we're currently working on his rice and peas recipe. We're also working on a kid's menu recipe as well so that way we can do more and he will be able to advance to a silver tier where he is now at bronze. What are a couple of things that could take somebody to the gold program level? What could take you to the gold tier could be uh, more menu items, more healthier menu items, um, more sustainability, environmental practices, and again community development. Okay well thank you guys so very much for having me here and um, like like we're all you're all you guys are gonna help me eat right like, I, <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> all right well black restaurant week san antonio runs now through this sunday march 3rd for more information on the city of san antonio metro health district's Puerto vida program just call 210-207-2722 or visit the website porvidasa.com from Ground Control Trampoline Park! Woo! We're gonna show you a bouncing good time next. If I can ever get out of here, what's the easy way to do this? <laughs> All right, it's time to check out what Fiona's doing over at Ground Control. That is Market Square. That's where we're located, by the way, if you haven't been by here. She's having a bouncing good time. I wonder what she's gonna do next, Fiona. Yes. I have definitely broken a sweat, and we are here, yes, at Ground Control Trampoline Park. 20,000 square feet of jump, jump fun, and joining me yet again is Leah Grady, general manager here. They've got that kind of ground control space theme. What are we looking at right now? Go ahead, Ephraim. This is gonna be our wall run. It's a trick that you can do on our super trampolines. Mm -hmm. um, like I discussed earlier, these trampolines do have a very specific type of spring for them mm -hmm. so that you can get that high bounce even on your back on these. All right, so Ephra makes it look incredibly easy, which <laughs> I'm kind of getting the feeling it's not. So Ephraim, this is going to be your biggest challenge today. This is going to be your Everest is showing me how to do this. I'm going to take this right out. All right, so what is the first thing we're going to learn? All you're going to do is fall back. Okay, so show me that real quick. Okay, okay so just fall back, keep your back straight. You just fall back and land flat on her back rather than curling oh, back so that she can get okay. back up to All right, the wall. that was step that one, motion. right? Okay. Now, step two is the easiest part. 
right? So we're just gonna do our feet. Get our feet there. there you go. What they're doing yeah, now like is that. just getting the foot contact of your feet to be able to push yes! off from the wall. Oh, well, that was really good. That was really okay, good. Okay, hold on, let me try that one more time. Okay, okay. Ready? All right, we're gonna here try we go. one more time. Go. And here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, look, we're doing great, we're doing great. Okay, I you made contact with the wall. Not Atari. bad, okay, and I didn't hurt myself. All right, so <laughs> Leah, there is so much fun to have here, okay? So much space to do it in. You guys host birthday parties, what else? We host birthday parties, we host private events in the a.m. and p.m., including our super slumber parties. So we do slumber parties and you have the option to have the park privately to yourself all night. And we can even throw in tents that glow in our glow nights and some beds if y'all need them. Tents and beds? can be part of that slumber party package. How incredibly cool is a kid to come here and do that? And you guys even have a little arcade, right? We do have a little arcade and a full snack bar as well. All so right. serving up hot, fresh pizzas that we make here in house. We've got different things on the menu. Pretty much a lot of snacks, a lot of drinks. We've got ices, we've got chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks. We've got a ton of stuff at our cafe. We've got multiple different arcade games like you mentioned, and of course, all the other fun things. Yes, okay. And one more time for folks that don't know, what are your hours, where are you located? So we are located off of Marbach at 9870 Marbach. And our hours vary Monday through Thursday. We're gonna be open from 12 to eight. Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we will open, I'm sorry. Friday, we open at 12 to 10. And then Saturday, it's 11 to 10. Okay. Sunday, we're gonna close a little earlier, you know, keep it that everybody have a nice Sunday relaxing day. And we're gonna close at seven and open at 11 on those days. All right, and of course folks can come out, they can jump for an hour, they can jump for two hours. What other options are there? We have our hour option and our two hour option. We also have an all day pass currently, and those are gonna be valid for all day you're able to come into the park purchase it in the morning okay leave go pick up others and come back all right thank you so much well happy leap year again from ground control trampoline park we're gonna bounce it over back to you thanks fiona yes and for more information you can head to our website salive.com click the as seen on sa live tab or just scan that qr code that's right there on your screen she had a great time sloan looked like she had fun too all right Stock up on discount furniture at the grand opening of Furniture Now. We're helping you make your home a happy space. Plus, it's the last day of American Heart Month. We learn about cardiovascular health and the symptoms of a heart-related emergency. That's next. Right now, your answers to our question of the day. All right, when did you take a big leap in your life? Alyssa Morales says, trying to become a doctor. Wow, that's a great one. Keep them coming. You got it. February is American Heart Month. For more than 60 years, Methodist Healthcare has delivered innovative and comprehensive heart, lung, and vascular care to patients of all ages. And here to tell us more is Dr. Stephen McConnell, emergency medicine physician at Methodist Hospital Metropolitan. And welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So let's talk about cardiovascular disease because sure. it is still the leading cause of death Absolutely. here in this nation. Tell us why. Absolutely. Not only in the nation, but especially here in South Central Texas, we see a lot of patients with heart disease. You know, the risk factors of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. There's additional ones as well, but those are the biggest three that when you look across the community have a very high prevalence here in this region. And we tend to see that also in terms of their risk factors for heart disease. So that's why we see so much heart disease here in South Texas. And so have you seen a difference in how cardiovascular disease affects women versus men? Yeah, very, very good question. We see how it affects different genders, but also ages as well too. Right. So the American Heart Association has done a great job teaching us left-sided chest pain described as pressure. Sometimes it goes to your jaw, sometimes to your neck. That's a heart attack. 
that doesn't happen in the most of the times for patients, especially women, and especially patients with diabetes. It may be something as simple as, wow, my chest is kind of bothering me. I'm not able to do the things I was able to do last week because I get more short of breath. Right. I can't walk from the couch to the bathroom or the kitchen because I'm now short of breath. I'm feeling like I'm dizzy. I'm going to pass out. Really Those tired. are all very tired. Yeah. Yes, very, very, very common s symptoms that we get. And on top of that, usually we think, oh my goodness, I'm doing great. Then all of a sudden my chest is hurting really bad. That's a heart attack. Well, in some patients, we see it happening over times of hours and sometimes even days of when the symptoms start to when they actually present to the emergency department or their doctor's office to be seen for it. Wow, that's scary. Yes, okay. very much so. So what are some common signs and symptoms that people should be aware of that might indicate a heart-related emergency, which yeah. might be hard to decipher. It is. You know. It is. Even in working in the emergency department oh. with all of the things that we have at our disposal, you know, we check EKGs on patients, we check blood work to look for um, troponin or a protein in the heart, then when we find it in the blood may indicate a heart attack. Um, at Methodist, we're blessed, we have cath labs, so we have um, on-call interventional cardiologists. If someone comes in and they're having a heart attack, we can send them there to have an intervention done to hopefully open up that blood vessel. Right. So you may actually notice that a loved one or a family member is downplaying the symptoms, but if you notice that they're having things, they're, they're clutching their chest, they're not eating as much, or they're more short of breath, they go to right. the store and they have to sit down, they just say, oh, it's just my heartburn. Right. Well, it may be heartburn, or it could also be signs and symptoms of a heart attack. Okay, so as an ER doctor who sees all kinds of emergencies, what preventative measures would you recommend to keep the heart healthy? We have about 30 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Making sure that you're taking care of yourself, right. annual physicals, checking your blood sugar, checking your blood pressure, managing your, your cholesterol levels, all of these work as preventative measures to hopefully reduce the risk of you having a heart attack from heart disease. All right, doctor, thank you so much. For more information and how you can learn more about Methodist Healthcare's heart care program, just call 210-974-6759 or you can visit their website, sahealth.com slash heart. Up next, refurbish your home and make it a happy space with deals at a local furniture store, the big event you don't want to miss when SA Live continues. It's a big grand opening for furniture now, and that means big savings if you're looking to upgrade your happy space. Joining me now is Martin Zavala, and we are here at the newest location. Hello. Hello, San Antonio. Hello, Jen. Thanks nice for to having meet me. You. Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about what you have here. So, we're furniture now. We're actually a furniture business that has bedding, decor also as well. We go all the way from bedrooms to dining rooms, all the way to our living rooms. Yeah, so something for every room, really, right? Everything from the smallest piece to our accent chairs all the way to our, our bed uh, benches, all the way to our smallest bar store as well. Yes, okay, and you're under new management, so what does that mean for customers? So under new management, uh, of course, Furniture Now is under new ownership, new management. It's been serving San Antonio community since 2015, so we want the community to come here, welcome us with open arms, mm -hmm. and see what we can help them out here in this location. Now let's chat more about this location and your hours. Okay, so we are located here on 2945 Thousand Oaks Drive. Uh, our hours are Monday to Sunday. We're here from 10 to 7 and on Sundays from 12 to 6. All right, and then you also have another location, right? We have another location coming up over there, kind of where the Foss, uh, Foss Bank is, where the Spurs play. Mm -hmm. It's right on the Panhandle Express, so we'll be there located hopefully by the end of April. Mm -hmm. So 30,000 square feet, so hopefully it comes in. Wow, that's a good location too. Okay. All right, and if somebody comes in and they need some help, maybe they don't know how to put a room together or how to coordinate the furniture, you have designers that can help. We do, we have our salespeople that are here experienced with you. We have our team that loves loves to help out our customers to whatever whatever they can and you also have some hot buys tell so me our, about those our hot buys are our main collections that we are here in san antonio they go off the market so mm -hmm. it's come in 
get it now because they go back quick. We have our mid-century modern. Right now into the San Antonio, it's kind of looking into the transitional where it has that traditional and modern look mm -hmm. that people just come in and ask for. They go by quick, like hot tamales. <laughs> and you also have some financing options. We do have financing available. It ranges all the way to six months interest free. But of course we have uh, other options that we like to give our customers, of course, a no credit needed. And it gives you the option to do that payoff, that early payoff, or that buyout, out, buyout option. With those options, we want the customers, you know, to have that vision within reach. It's kind of like the purchase now, pay over time, pay later. Mm -hmm. Of course, our last but not least, we do have that layaway, layaway plan that we help our customers between those three to six months. Okay, and the big grand opening is happening this weekend. Big grand opening. Of course, we have our landing rooms here in San Antonio, so we'll be having our mariachis. Okay, we'll be giving out giveaways from recliners to TV stands. We'll be getting out goodie bags. Of course, with our bags that have our logo with our furniture now also as well. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be having a car show. But one of the main attractions that we're going to be having is Leo the Lion. Leo, oh, is that your mascot? Leo the Lion. Okay. Oh, there's Leo. Okay, Leo will be there too. Look how cool Leo is. Okay, that looks comfy, Leo. I'm going to come sit with you. And for more, oh yeah, that's nice. For more information, you can head to FurnitureNow.com or give them a call, 210-254-9917. This is comfy. I think I might take a nap, Leo. Tomorrow on SA Live, you've heard of enchiladas, but how about hot Cheetos enchiladas? Wow. Okay, we take you to a brand new restaurant putting a wild twist on classic Mexican dishes. Plus, there's nothing else like it in the world. There's a brand new water coaster in town and it's ready for your spring break adventures. See what happens when we ride. That's tomorrow, one o'clock, right here on SA Live. San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. All right, earlier we asked you, when did you take a big leap in your life. I love this question today. Yes, Alyssa trying to become a doctor. Good luck to you. Terry, at 22, my husband and I moved to San Antonio with a three-year-old, a two-year-old, $500, no jobs, having never been here before. Wow, we have to hear the rest of the story. Yes, Debbie, 1984, active duty military. Thank you for your service. Paul, my wife and I married in 1979. Three months later, we moved to Dallas. It's always scary when you make that move, right? Margo, my girlfriend told me she loved me. And I said, I love you too. That's the, always that moment, right? When you share that. Birdie skating. Skating is not easy. Okay, Tom becoming a dad. Yes, the greatest feeling in the world. I'm someone's dad. Yes, yes. Always a good feeling. Again, mine was going to Colorado because I'm a Texas girl and I had never been out of state, but I had a blast. Great memories there. Started my family there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see